So now, I should have killed the two instruments because that's another why they're different families. So on the oboe, you have, well, you have where the vocal slash, um, you know, cork mouthpiece comes in, depending on which oboe you have, like if it's a C one or a bass one, so on. So yeah, you can see that, you see these holes, that's for like vents and stuff. Yeah, it's a stand over for you. And then soon, well, a lot bigger, but still. Um, so we have that, that's activated by those keys. So let's start from the bulk to the bell. So we have, well, a bulk right there. Then we have, well, we have a lot because of the whole range one thing. So you have all these keys right here. Yeah. And let's go down to the boot joint. Oh, look. Notice that you can see so far that the key was completely different than the oboe. They look nothing alike. At least, mostly nothing alike. Then you have this over here. You have the lowest notes that are controlled by these. And if you go to the other side after you see the bell, it looks like this. So here's the other side of the soon. So from the bulk again, we have this. Yeah, nothing you'll find in elbows at least. Not even a country would have this. And then we have all this. Notice how you have some like open holes because bassoons are known for that. At least the regular one and small ones are. So there you go. Bassoons and oboes are not the same family because of that. At least another reason why they're not the same family. Next, I turn the bassoon bell out and I have it compared to the normal clarinet and you can see they are exactly the same size on the outside. Look, I could do this. See, look, exact same size. Yet, bassoons are five times the length of a normal clarinet, which is kind of funny. Remember when I said that the normal bottega has a bow hole? Well, if you look closely, the melting inside of the cork is actually the bow hole for the normal oboe. So yeah. Comparing this, where you can see it kind of easier and stuff. Here's something I found out about this. So this right here is actually a half a diamond of this. And if you see my singing video, version where I talk about my future instrument, it has the same interest just so it does this. Which is pretty much like this. But this one has better sound. But it's just the interest around something like this. I can't really play fundamental. Same with this. Well, I kind of can. The thing I also did was, I just put this press to a read to the bassoon read. And I say never do this because you might damage it. But the reason I'm not going to damage mine is because the bassoon read isn't the best I have. I should get it replaced. Or at least fixed. And because of the gas being where I can put it in here without breaking it. So before I go, here's the bassoon and oboe sounds. <laughs> Thank you.